Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. So today, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing another collection haul. Um, I know that this is coming up really, really late. It is, I believe, May 24th when I'm filming this. And if I'm not mistaken, the collection released on the 16th of May. But unfortunately, I was out of the country. I was in the Dominican when it released. So I wasn't able to get the products the day that they came out. Um, so I kind of was like thinking if I should even bother filming this, but some of my Mac hauls, like my Mac collection haul videos tend to be the ones that you guys like the most, the ones that you guys watch the most. Um, so I figured I would put it up anyway, in case anybody's still curious about it. Um, I went and picked my stuff up. Oh my God, my hair is just a hot mess right now. Um, I went and picked up my stuff last night. Uh, I'm very lucky in that I know a lot of girls that work for Mac. Um, and so what they'll do for me is like if I prepay on a gift card for all the products, when the collection releases, they'll pull everything that I want and keep it to the side for me until I can get it. That way I don't have to like rush quite as much. And especially in like it's not a big deal when I'm here um, because I don't mind going first thing in the morning to make sure I get my hands on all the pieces that I want. But when I'm out of the country, obviously I can't do that. So I'm really, really grateful that they were able to do that for me. So I didn't get all the pieces in this collection. I'm only missing two though. <clears throat> so I, I haven't, I don't even know if I've said it. So obviously I'm doing the Mac Aladdin collection. If you clicked on this video, then you saw the title. So right now I have like my face makeup done, um, for the most part. But there are some face products in here, so I didn't do those things so that I could do like a first impression uh, try on video with you guys to kind of see how this goes. Um, but yeah, so the all the items that I got are in a bag here. I just have the receipt on the um, piece of paper so I can tell you guys like how much everything was, which is kind of nice because normally I can't do that in videos because I never remember. Um, so the two products I didn't get, I did not get the, it's like that crystal gloss glaze stuff. It's meant for your eyes. I'm pretty sure. Um, it's not the first time that they put that product out. And honestly, like I've always hated it because it doesn't dry down. It's not like a lot of like, like they have their liquid dazzle shadows at Mac. And once they're like dry, it's like a normal eyeshadow. It's like a lot of liquid eyeshadows that will dry down completely, but that one doesn't. It's always kind of like goopy. And I find that like when you like open your eyes, it, they get like stuck. It just, it I, it's not for me. I know a lot of people really like them. I'm sure you can use them other places. Like if you're looking for a really high intensity lip gloss, I'm sure you could use that as well. That's not for me. And the other product that I didn't get is the eyeliner because it just is their technic, I think it's their technical liner. Um, I can't really remember the exact color, but it's just a black eyeliner. So the only thing special about it was that it came in special limited edition packaging. But I already have at least one, if not two, of that exact same eye pencil. And I barely ever use black eyeliner. So it wasn't worth it for me to get it. But if you're looking for like a piece or two out of the collection, maybe you need a new black eyeliner and you're not interested in anything else, maybe get that and then you can have a little piece of it for you. So I have not, like I looked at it yesterday when I went and picked it up uh, in the store because the display was still there, but I haven't opened any of the boxes so we can go from the get-go talk about the packaging and all of that stuff. Um, first of all, I am so excited for the movie, by the way, I'm going with my mom next weekend. I think it comes out. Oh, it actually probably comes out today. So that's kind of cool that I'm putting this up on the day that it comes out. I didn't even think about that. Um, it probably comes out today, but I do have a wedding I have to go to tomorrow, Saturday. So I won't be able to see it this weekend. So I think we're going to try and go next weekend. Um, and I'm really excited for it. So first of all, the packaging is absolutely stunning. So it's got like that, um, what are these things called? I don't think these are actually like Mandela's, but like similar to that, it says Disney Aladdin on it. So you've got this pink one with this gold embossed detail. That's for the eyeshadow palette. The lip glosses come in uh, a purple version, right? And then the other products, so the two face powders come with like this turquoise with like a lamp and a peacock on it. You see that? And then the uh, lipsticks have like these peacock feathers on them. You guys see that? So in the collection, like I said, there was something's missing out of here. Huh. I thought. Blush. That's yes. 
Okay, I thought I was also getting the pigment, but I guess she didn't put it in here, and that's okay. Um, because I remember she was like, Oh, you probably don't want it, but I didn't have it. So there was also a loose pigment that I thought I was getting. Um, but it's not in here and I wasn't charged for it, so no big deal. Um it's not a big deal. If I really want it, I'll get it later. But it was like a pinky kind of pigment and the lid just had a gold on it. And ultimately, I probably don't need it because like I have a ton of eye pigments and I never use them as it is. So that's OK. Uh, anyways, so like I said, there was obviously an eye pigment, an eye gloss and an eyeliner. They also came out with two face powders. I believe one is a bronzer and one's a highlighter. Um, one eyeshadow palette. It's one of the Times 9 ones four lipsticks and three lip glosses. So I'm going to take this all out of the packaging and then we're going to start swatching it and then I'm going to do a look using some of the products. Okay, so I've got everything out of the boxes. Really quickly, I thought I'd show you like the inside of the boxes are these super bright colors. So you've got orange inside the purple ones, uh, this like turquoise color inside the pink ones and then purple inside the green ones. So that's also really cool. I really appreciate that about MAC when they do put out their limited edition collections is like the packaging is like always to die for. So um, where do I feel like starting? Let's, I guess, start with the eyeshadow palette. So this palette is called Princess Jasmine times nine. Um, some of the shades in it are super cute, like the names I'll tell you. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's gold and it has that same kind of a pattern on it in pink. And then this is what the shadows look like. I'm really into this. I was like a couple of years ago, I went through like a serious purple phase where I was just like obsessed with like all kinds because my eyes are green ish and purple is supposed to bring out green eyes. So I went through a phase where like I was obsessed with it, but I really, really like the colors here. Um, I think I'm holding true more to the cartoon where I'm like, why isn't there any of that like beautiful minty green in it or anything? But whatever, I do really, really like the colors. So from top to bottom, this is a matte called Riff Raff. That's a really, really pretty matte. That's really pretty. I should have brought uh, makeup wipes. Give me two seconds. I'm going to go grab some. Okay, so like I was saying, this is Riff Raff. It is a matte. The next one is Rags to Riches. It's a frost. Really, really pretty. Just a really pretty subtle, subtle shimmer. This one, whoopsies, is No Ordinary Lamp. It's also a matte. It's like a light pinky kind of color. Hope you guys can see that. Next one down is Princess Jasmine and it is a frost. It kind of looks like a duochrome frost to be completely honest. Like almost like a bluey purple brownie kind of shift right there. Some of these frosts are a little bit chunky which is normal of their frost shadows I do find. So this one dead center is Agrabah. It is also a frost. That's stunning. That one's my favorite. So I really like this matte shadow too. I think it's absolutely beautiful. A lot of pigment there. So this one here is a boo and it's a Velux Pearl. It's like the color of his like little vest. Right there. Then you've got this beautiful gold, which is creative copper. This is a luster. Beautiful, beautiful gold. I've got a quite a tan right now, so it seems like a lot of the colors are showing up better than they would if I was like my normal natural skin tone, uh, but not the gold evidently. So this color in the middle at the bottom here is Live the Genie Life. It's a frost. It's kind of like a silvery gold. Really, really pretty. And then the last color on the end here is Shadowy Lady, and that's a matte. Sounds this Ooh, that's really dark. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So that matte is a little underwhelming compared to like the other ones we've seen. But those are the colors. I think they're beautiful. I think they come together really, really nicely to make a really nice cohesive palette, which is really, really nice. So you guys can pick this up. If you're Canadian, it is $46. I don't know the U.S. equivalency. I know the U.S. dollar is like, like for every like $1.35 Canadian is like a dollar U.S. or something like that. Um, 
So I don't know. It, it'll be on the website. That's the other thing. Even though a lot of this collection is sold out in stores, the website will do a restock. So if you maybe missed out on a product or two, keep an eye out because they will restock it. And if it's not popular enough, eventually you'll be able to get it cheaper. So normally I would do all my swatches, but I think I'm going to like just go straight into like doing an eye look with this. Um, so I'm just picking up a, I should have cleaned my brushes, a fluffy brush. And I'm going to go into that first color here this rags to riches color. I'm just really, really into it. So there is quite a bit of fallout with it. I can already see that. So I'm just going to take that and kind of lay that into my crease. I've got like the camera here and a mirror here so that I can kind of see what I'm doing. Sometimes I just come in with like just the camera and it's really hard to follow what I'm doing to myself because like the view, like I'm using my phone and like, so like my, the picture on my camera is fine, but like it is a little easier with the mirror there. Okay. So I've got that laid down as kind of a base. That is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful color. I probably should have like laid down this one as a base, but I'm going for a little bit more of like a darker look. So we're kind of going to go with this color here. Then we're going to use some of Boo. I want to try some of that shadowy lady. And then I'm thinking probably Agrabah because that's my favorite color of the palette maybe with a little bit of live the genie life in like an inner corner highlight and maybe what we'll do is we'll take that light pink the no ordinary lamp and kind of smoke that out underneath the eye so let's keep going try not to yap too much I'll just start um I'm just gonna grab my color switch again I should have had it out ahead of time I'm not prepared because this is another dirty dirty brush they were all clean when I went away on my trip and then I came home and they're not clean anymore. So I am going to take that um, other matte shade that is in No Ordinary Lamp and I'm going to kind of brush that on the lower lash line. I'm actually super excited because tomorrow for the wedding, I'm going with my friend Katrina and we I have a couple free applications at MAC from being an obsessed member. Um, so I'm going to treat her and we are going to go get our makeup done for the wedding. And it's just so nice because like some days, like yesterday, I was having a really bad, I'm going to keep talking while I do this. So I'm going to go in with that Abu color on another kind of brush. That'll work. And I'm going to just kind of deepen up the crease. Anyways, so like I was saying, it's kind of nice because yesterday I was like going out with my friend Jill, who's my friend from Mac and I was having like a really bad makeup day. Like, I don't know. And I had it again today. I don't know what's going on with me. When I was in the Dominican, my makeup like game was like not even like amping myself up, but like the application process was so easy. And I don't have that all the time. Like I'll find that like, oh, I'll go to do something and uh, either like the foundation separates or I screw something up or something. But I never had a problem when we were down there. And then I got back here and I've just been like having nonstop problems. So like yesterday I had one foundation on that ended up not covering me enough because I am having like you guys can see like some face problems right now. Um, I'm just going in with that shadowy lady color just to kind of do it uh, a little bit on the outer corner, darken it up a bit more. Anyway, so I was like doing that and it wasn't working. So I tried to lay over it with another foundation and then I got over with bronzer and it just made it look super, super cakey and really, really bad. Um, and like I was trying to redo it, redo it, redo it. And then today I had my foundation done and I had my concealer to the point where it was like sitting under my eyes and over my stuff where I just needed to blend it in with a beauty blender. And I just got a little absent minded because I'd opened my setting powder at the same point. So I put setting powder on before it blended any of my concealer. Like, so it was like, it just made this like chunky uh, mess. I don't even, it was horrible. It was so bad. Just going in with that long live the genie or live the genie life right in the inner corner there, just for some bit of sparkle. And then I'm going to take that Agrabah color and I'm going to go over the lid. That's really pretty. I really like that. just like that. So I'm pretty happy with how that looks, uh, to be completely honest. First impressions on the palette. Um, 
the mats are really, really good. Even that really light mat was really nice. They do blend really, really well together. I don't know how many cohesive looks you could get with this because like there's only like a couple darker colors. And I don't know how you guys are, but I'm not normally one <clears throat> to put a lot of shimmer in my crease. I normally use that as like an all over the lid topper kind of color. Sometimes I'll do it. Sometimes I won't. So, oh, I just took a huge chunk out of one of the colors. That's really annoying. It's really soft, really, really soft shadow, um, which is fine. But um, yeah, it is really, really pretty. I think, again, it would only really be good for one kind of a look if you're looking for those purples and stuff like that. If not, probably not the product for you out of this collection. So pretty happy with that. Next, let's get into some of these face powders. So they came out with two. Now they say that they're powder blushes, but I saw them in the store and I would say one is a bronzer and one is a highlighter. So this one is always one jump ahead. And this one to me looks like the highlighter color. And I like that they have like the little lamp in them. It looks like somebody touched this one, but that's fine. I don't really care. Um, so I'll just kind of take a bit of that and show you guys. It's like a really, really pretty, I'm going to swatch it. I'll swatch it under the eyeshadows. Light peachy kind of golden -y champagne color. Really, really, really pretty. So there's that. And then the other one is a bronzer, I would say. And this is your wish is my command. Now it is a deeper bronze. Um, but it's not orange. It is brown, which is really nice. It is matte looks just like that right there. For me, this one's going to work really well right now because I am darker. So I am going to take a bit of this and just deepen up my uh, face a little bit. Not a ton because I do already have some bronzer on because I kind of forgot about this. So it's a little bit like orangey, I guess. I don't know. I think if you go in with a very light hand, it could work. I think I went a little heavy right up at the top. That's okay. That's what you have hair for. It'll just cover it. So maybe a little orangier than I would have liked. Uh, probably not going to keep for very, I don't know. I got to play with it a little bit more. First impressions, it's a little more orange than I would prefer to normally go. But hey, whatever. That's fine. Now I'm going to go in with this highlighter. I've got crap all over me and I don't know what it's from. I think one of the I think it's from the powder off of like the kickback off the shadows just went all over me. So there is a lot of follow with them. So I'm just going to pick up some of this and just sort of see how it looks. So it is there. I hope you guys can see it. It's very, very, very subtle. Uh, and that's not a bad thing. There we go. It always shows up better on like my nose. Again, a lot of kickback with this, and it is a very, very subtle highlight. So if you're looking for something with a little more like pizzazz, not for you, but if you're looking for a subtler kind of look, really, really pretty. I'm actually annoyed right now because my eyes aren't done. So I'm going to go add a liner and some mascara, and then we're going to come back and do the lip swatches. Okay, so I'm back and I'm feeling a little bit better now. I don't know what it is with me. Like when I don't have liner and mascara on, I just feel incomplete looking. So that has been fixed now. Also, I neglected to tell you guys that the face powders are also $46 a piece, apparently. So just keep that in mind. Now let's get into the lip products. So like I said, there are four lipsticks and three lip glosses. And normally you guys know me. I'm not a big lip gloss person. Like I never, ever, well, very rarely wear this stuff. Um, I need to be in a particular mood for it. Um, because I don't like the stickiness and I don't like, like I have very long hair and if it's windy out, you know, if the weather's not agreeing with me and it gets stuck and then it drags, it bothers me. But when I was talking to Jill, she had seen the product and she reassured me that these were colors that I would be really into. Um, and she was right. So these are the three lip glosses. Again, the packaging, absolutely stunning on these. So they came out, this is a diamond in the rough. And this is like a you can see it a little bit better right there. Like a crystal kind of a topper. It's kind of got like a golden tint to it though. Right there. That is just beautiful. Beautiful. Look at the, it, it is like diamonds. Then they also had magic carpet ride. And this is like a pale kind of a pinky sort of color. Again, looks super, super glittery. Right there. Really, really pretty as well. Are these... 
No, these are lip glasses. I didn't know what they were. I didn't know if they were dazzle glosses. They say lip glass. And this one is Jewels on Jewels. So this one's got like a little bit of like a orangey reddish kind of a tone to it. Right there. Really, really pretty colors would be good as toppers or like the this one would definitely be a topper, I would think. But these two, I think, could be a standalone and they are stunning. As much as I don't wear lip glosses, I am really happy I got these. And these are $23 a piece. Then you get into the lipsticks. And this is where I think they did the best in this collection. I love all four colors. So this is what the bullet looks like. It is gold. It has the peacock feathers on the bottom. It says Aladdin on it in a couple places. You open it up. It says Aladdin again. So these colors are all super wearable. There's nothing crazy out there, which they do in some collections. Like you either get these like super pale colors that like would do nothing for anybody or you get, I'm just going to wipe this lip gloss off before I stick my hair in it. Um, or you get like really dark colors that like you would need to be really, really bold and out there to wear. And I normally am not every once in a while. I don't mind, but normally not. So this first color is princess incognito. It's like this beautiful, beautiful, like rosy kind of pink. Just like that. This is a matte. Beautiful color. Oh, that is stunning. Next color is Whole New World, of course. And this is like this beautiful, vibrant pink. This is also a matte. Right there. Absolutely stunning. I love MAC lipsticks so, so much. Um, this one is in Raja, which is like this deeper kind of berry tone. And this is also a matte right there. I kind of like, I don't know, is the last one a matte as well? No, this is an amplified cream, but those are actually like my favorite finishes. Uh, I find that in big like Disney collections, they don't put out enough matte lipsticks. They always go with like the lusters and the frost, which I think are not as popular with some people. But they are my favorite and, well, these are my favorite. The mattes are my favorite. And this is the last one. This is an amplified cream in Friend Like Me. So this is like your neutral sort of pinky kind of color. Absolutely stunning, stunning shades. Which one do I feel like wearing? I think we're going to go for this amplified one. So this is in Friend Like Me. And I am going to be bold and top it with a lip, lip gloss, so... Oh, that is just the most beautiful nude. And the amplified creams are just so comfortable. So I'm just trying to decide now, do I want to top this with, let's do Magic Carpet Ride. It's that pinky kind of one. Just put a bit. Just a little bit of it. Nothing crazy. Just for a little extra shine. So that is, oh, and the lipsticks are $25. So that is everything that I got in the collection. Like I said, there are a couple pieces that I missed out on, uh, but not very many. Uh, overall thoughts on the collection, I think, I think in terms of like the old cartoon and like the greens and stuff like that, they obviously completely missed the mark. But if you're looking at the new movie and you're looking for a very, very wearable collection because that is another problem that I do find sometimes is when Mac puts out like specific collections for specific movies or specific themes they go so out there with them that like they're just completely not wearable to anybody but I mean you saw the lipstick colors you saw the lip glosses you saw the eyeshadows I think they're all very very wearable very everyday shades um which I really really like I think that this is kind of like the every girl or guy if you're you know everybody's collection I feel like anybody could find something in this that they really, really liked, whether it's a lipstick or an eyeshadow or like there's bits of this that everyone would like. And I know a lot of people were saying that they were like disappointed by it. Um, but ultimately, I'm not. I think it's absolutely beautiful. The quality is there and I definitely recommend. So if there's anything that you saw here that you're interested in, I do recommend you get it. Um, like I said, the eyeshadow palette's not going to be for everybody, but I think that there's at least like a lip color in here or, you know, that black eyeliner that I didn't pick up. There's something in here for everybody, and I am sure of that. So let me know down below what you guys like out of this collection. If you're picking it up, maybe what your favorite matte collection has been. Um, 
let me know what other kind of videos you guys want to see. I always ask that and I feel like I don't get enough feedback. Um, so then I put up videos that nobody wants to see, but I am really, really interested in like making sure you guys are getting content that you're interested in. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Check out my Instagram. It's linked down in the description bar. I have gotten better. I posted like three pictures while I was away, which is not a huge deal for most people, but for me, that's a lot. Um, and yeah, what did I say? I don't even know. I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.